the room where those beans are at. In here. Wow. It says the Harry Potter taught as it's that no one deserves to live in a closet. Wow, that's so groovy. <laughs> Going through the world. Oh, I'm Leo Rising. I'm so cool. It's beautiful in here. It's neat. Okay, I'm painting. A fashionably well dressed artist lives in this room. Wow, that's pretty cool. What, what's your zodiac sign? Gemini. Thank you, ever so kindly. What's your astrology signs? Gemini, Sagittarius, and Leo. Sagittarius, Moon, and Leo Rising. Yeah. Thank you, ever so kindly. What I'm picking up is you've seen Shadow People, right? Right. Awesome. One hit. Was it, what, did you have to live with your grandma? Yes. You know a guy named William? Okay, that's what I'm picking up on, and you're mad about it. <laughs> but you've seen, you've seen, um, shut up, people. That's what I saw. Okay, let's get over that. And then I'm um, seeing, um, like birdhouses and stuff. Y'all used to make birdhouses, and um, your mom would get mad at you, or your grandma would get mad at you a lot. <laughs> and something about the ship, kind of like a farm. Her last name was Farmer. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> but she, she kind of yell at you a lot for some reason, <laughs> and um. She had bottle cut glasses or not, and her hair was like all just like grandma's hair. Um, I, I don't know clue. Is she in there somewhere up there? That one and that one. Oh well, she has the mullet with grandma hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, oh that'd be cool. I can look at pictures and cycle and read them too. That'd be fun. But um, that'd be fun. But let's try to see if we're gonna be first one at a time, one at a time, one time. Do you have a little brother? Or were you the little brother? And you were an evil child, you were just like a mischief child, and you were like, you were like the troublemaker child, and, uh, you were the one that you pretended to be picked on, but you were really the one, because you're fucking troublemaker, you're chaotic, because your fourth house is probably Scorpio. That means your tenth house is probably Taurus, because you are a Gemini Leo rising, then your fourth house is probably Scorpio, and we'll look it up and we'll see, because this is what I think that you were, you're acting like that when you're little. And your 10,000th tour is like beauty, 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 image, and stable lies, and ain't nobody gonna know that I'm secretly hiding a, a devil, ding, 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 moon, and such airs, whatever. And then, um, you would pretend to be claustrophobic? Is that what it is? Is that why you pretend to be claustrophobic, but you're really not? But you, you would always say that you're claustrophobic? Yeah. Pretending? Yeah. Oh my god, all right! And, um, I hope I'm recording this. Let me see if my voice is actually recording. Some You would hide razors and stuff, like razor blades, when you were little? I'm right. <laughs> I just said it when I turned it on. <laughs> you would hide razor blades and stuff. And you would put them inside of a stuffed bunny rabbit, too. Like a white bunny. A white one. A white one. And you're nodding your head. So I'm right. On the police. <laughs> you were hiding all the razor blades. And, um, uh, you were really diligent. Something about an open, um, shower, <laughs> dropping the soap. <laughs> something like you're really diligent in the shower or something like that. And you drop in the soap and it was like a blue soap or whatever. Soap bar. Does this make any sense to you? Like a shower floor, big shower floor. I'm not sure. Is that true? And, okay, you wear a, a, a head cap on, and you scrub things. You you are a cleaner. You have to be a drawer person. What's it called? A janitor person. That's that? Do you have to be a janitor? Something like that? Yeah, I'm a nurse. <laughs> oh, okay. But you still have to be kind of janitor? Yes, I have. Everything has to be clean. Okay, you have to be a janitor-like. Okay, and but you're really diligent during work. Because that's your 10th house is your career and your public image. Taurus stable and stuff, but at home, chaotic, right? Because Julia Risings has that. That's probably what it is. It's a good place to um, And, um, um, 
you're a big boy now, and you're gonna grow up, is what someone said, like, you need to grow up, is what your grandma would always say, you're like, you're a big boy now, you need to grow up. Is that what she'd say? She would. <laughs> she, she would call me her big little man. Okay, and then, uh, something about you had a dog, and, um, you need to take care of it now, and then something like, um, oh, I'm right, <laughs> and then, um, is she still not alive, or is she not alive? She's died twice. She's died twice? That's why I'm thinking... Well, you don't need to tell me. I need to tell you. Cheater, 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 pumpkin eater. No telling me, I tell you. Because I think that... She, did you see? Did you hear what I said? Did you? Did she die again? Or whatever? Did you hear that? So, don't cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. <laughs> but, um... Um, that's what I'm thinking. Like, she's two lives. Two lives. Two lives. Like, she's living in two wor worlds, two lives. And she's, she's telling you, like, she's going to die again. She knows that, right? Like, she's telling you you need to take care of your dog or something? Yeah. That's what she's saying? Right. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, she's going to take care of your dog. Um, um, you have a receipt and a black wallet. Is it a white? It's something like that. I don't know, Chloe. A black leather wallet. I'm gonna put it in your receipt. I, I don't give a fuck. I don't think I'm right. I just don't know what that is. That has nothing to do with her. But, um, um... I'm just trying to think of all the wallets that I have. Yeah, you, like, you have an ICP clown wallet, too? Like, a joker on it? A clown wallet? I have a clown wallet. You have a clown wallet! I'm right! And, um, you're telling me I'm right. <laughs> ah, ah! Okay, cool. Um, um, dishwasher, liquid soap, and... Just, you know, you're, you're, she's getting things ready, organized, whatever, just OCD in your own little way sometimes, because, you know, you don't have to be there, you have to be the master of it all, <laughs> you have to master this, something like that, and, um, and, um, and, uh, um, 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 so dark and then light, dark and then light, and just, like, I don't know why, um, um, and you tried to mess with fake ass tarot cards or whatever, but you wanted to work with the demon people or something because that's all you thought that you could reach is the darkness, the dark energies. Is that what you were doing? Like, because yeah. you wanted the power of the scorpion that was within you already at home. So yeah. you thought that, well, everybody can be really cool in the expression of being gothic and stuff, but you would not want to work with dark demon energies because they could just kidnap you and you would not want to be with that because there really is light and there really is Jesus. There really is all that. You want to stay in the light do as best you can because dark is not good. It's void of light and it's void of love and it's void of all your friends and family, whoever is in the light, you know? That's what that is. So, don't want to work with them if you already have the power. You can already have the power to do anything. Just because they're the only ones that are at reach does not mean they're the only ones that you're going to get. You know, you don't have to have those who, because that, they're kind of probably hoarding you and blocking you from the other light beings too because that's the dark, you know, that's the void. Light doesn't want to be around it, it can cast it away, but like, just good Samaritans, just, you just still got to stay away from it, because it, it's like an, it's just pollution. It's all it is. It's not power. Dark is not power. It's not good. Always light is power. Even if you have a little bit of it, like a mustard seed. That's like the truth and what I think is what I've seen and what I've encountered, because that's kind of fucking bullshit. Get the fuck roach out of my house. Get the fuck out. That's it. That's all it is. But communicating from a distance, fine, whatever, you know, because... You want to know more and you want to be more psychic, you know, because, uh, you know, and then you call upon the light and if it ever, if it doesn't come, then, you know, my bad, you're fucking, you know, on your own still, like we always are, you know? Okay. Anyways, preaching over. We're going to go to second, buddy. And then, uh, we have another magical guest. I'm, let's see if he comes in. <laughs> My dog's here. We have another magical guest. Sequel number two. The sequel. Psychic reading of the sequel. I'm obviously in the middle of the ring of the bitch. <laughs> and he's actually a uh, um, Gemini Leo rising, moon Sagittarius. And um, we're going to get with that in a minute. And he's actually a readable. <laughs> yeah. Babe is bad for you. And me too. But anyways. Back to the rating. Um, 
uh, you called the metologist, you wish you would go into the call the metology school, or you did, or you halfway finished it or something? You halfway finished the... No, You did? You finished the whole, you finished the whole thing? But you wish you had something to do with it, but you've got paperwork as well to do? You have other paperwork to do? For some reason? You're, you're nodding your head, so that means I'm right. <laughs> and then, well, I'm just getting in it real quick. You don't have to tell me, because I don't give a fuck. I want to tell you, plus it's cheating. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's cool to tell me later if you want to, because... I might move around because I'm Gemini Rising and I'm an ADD person. Um, uh, college and college back, you like you might back back to back college. You're gonna go back to back college or something? Is that true? Oh, that is true. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then um, um, you you want to be on the Montel Williams show or something? What about the Montel Williams show? And, um, the other show that looks like... That other guy, he's a guy, I don't really know. I'm so confused now. That would be cool. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. This is nothing to do with you? Okay. Well, forget it, then. <laughs> I am getting confused, or... But, um... Yeah, I guess what you were seeing was real. Those shadow people, they're just like... They... When, when they're around, they kind of pull your energy. You know, they're, that's what it's doing to me now, and that's ridiculous, but um, it's like, it's like, like, trying to pull your bubble, like, you fill the bubble, and it's like, pull, it's like, like, fuck off, thank you, it's none of your business, my light is not yours, it's good Samaritan Jesus is with him or something like that, because he's, like, the only heaven that I've ever met, so I don't really know, I don't know, I trust anything else, I don't, don't trust anything else. <laughs> But, um, I don't know, that's what I'm feeling, and it's still around you, like, right fucking now. Your fourth house is in Scorpio. The demons are all around here. They're not, I don't know, you can just call them whatever they want. They're like the shadow people or something. They're, they look like tree people, you know what I mean? They look like tree people. Is that what they look like to you? Yeah. They look like trees? With hoodies, yeah. with hoodies on. Yeah. They're like tree people. But they're not black, they're black and brown. Like trees. They look like trees. Like yeah. tree spirits. What if that's them? I don't know. What if they are? Because I think maybe true spirits do actual reject and stuff. And there's fairies. Fairies are real. And they can be seen anywhere. But, you know, whatever. Weird, huh? <laughs> can you believe he sees this shit? I'm calling the police. <laughs> Yay, my Virgos! Mmm. Mmm. Virgos. My second favorite. Best sign of all. Favorite. Chism. In my kingdom of heaven. No, <laughs> just my favorite. Second favorite. Okay, back to the right thing. You have 10 house Taurus, which is, Taurus is my favorite sign, but whatever. And that's one of my favorite placements. But, um, not just because it's Taurus, just because it is. It, that's in the public image, and that's where I like it. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Who? And, it, and, and they're good. Their job, you know, they're serious about the drama stuff. So, but they kind of, whatever at home is different. They're a different person. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you're totally cool right now, because, like, that. Um... Um, okay, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a break, cause, uh, it's in this room, the <laughs> most, up the door. this is the room where the deem, the, the, the energies, the darker ones are at, and he just said it was his, um, room. Hmm, good guessing, or is it little psychic like abilities? You can't decide, cause we just decided. What do you think it is? Good guessing, or psychic like ability? But I, I know it, that the, the darker, dark, dark ones reside in here, and that's his room. Right? Dum, dum, dum. Paranormal investigations. It's like they're just sucking in it. They're just like little parasites. Like little tree parasites. They look like trees, but whatever. It is. And that's where you want to do your tarot card fake house bullshit. Either way, you can you, you still obviously have second villains because you can see the shit die since it, so you don't need cards. But it's it's cute for the glamour because you have ten pounds torch, which is basically you know beautiful stuff in that public side. Right, right. Of course. Of course, the horse. Of course, funny. But anyways, but it, it could trigger psychic. Who knows? Fuck it. Whatever. But got that's whatever. But so what. <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> but it is, literally, the, the things are running around here and stuff, and it's like four of them or something. They're in and out everywhere. 
and um, learning new sense. But um, I guess I think there's like this blue little light out there in the back. There's a little blue fairy or something out there. I don't really know what I'm talking about. But have you ever seen it? Like a little blue light out there? I don't know where to go outside. You don't go outside? Okay. I don't know. But let's find the fairies. That'd be cool. <laughs> because I've done that moment. But why not pull it out now? But that's kind of weird. They're just like, they're here and they're like, blah, 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 blah. I don't know if I hear anything of them wanting to communicate, but uh, if I like being sucked up like that, I don't like that. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of cool because it's like an act actual uh, paranormal thing that's happening, but what the fuck? <laughs> It just sucked me, like, as if, fuck you, you know what, ever, I didn't ask you to, you're not allowed to, I don't know, oh my god, do not know Jesus yet, <laughs> just saying, because that thing's real, Jesus is real, and all, everything's real, but everything's just a rim or light, but you're gonna, we can experience what the now is, <laughs> um, okay, your aunt, your aunt, is she alive too, or not, she's alive? Yeah. Okay, so, something about your aunt, and, um, Postponed your party for some reason? Your aunt postponed your party? She postponed a party. She postponed an odd party. Uh-huh. And a funeral happened or something? Is that right? Yeah. I'm right. Okay. It was a black casket? I was right. Okay, he's nodding his head. <laughs> and, uh... William? I don't know. Something like that keeps on coming up. And, um... I know that's not a dead person. I guess. Um... Um, oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. The little one? No, you're the little Okay, you're the littlest one. Yeah, okay. Well, whatever. This is the spirits I'm picking up on. This is his grandma who died twice. And she can be seen through this. Um, and this is him as a little boy, then, you know. And then that's the brother, I suppose, and these people. <laughs> Okay, next. What happened? So we were supposed to be having a very big 4th of July party this year. Yeah. And my uncle committed suicide. Yeah, something about your uncle as well, too. And Don't tell me, that's the best thing to pick up on is people's suicide. I'm so, because Pisces is real suicide, but whatever. And Scarpa's will murder. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, I can pick up your, I should pick up, I should pick up your yeah, no. Your uncle, it, was he skinny, though? Yes. He, he was skinny, and uh, he had, like, reddish, shoulder blonde hair? Yeah. And he, and he does not look like anything like y'all. <laughs> not in at the, all. In the face. <laughs> he he, he, he kind of looked like a redneck, you know? And, um, very much. Very much. And, um, I know, is it just, and then, uh, and then he, uh, he had, like, kind of, like, a, a long face, you know? Like, an oval. And, um, a beard, but a small short beard, you know? Yeah. And then he wore hats, and his hair was, like, kind of hay. Looks like hay, the color of hay, you know, yeah. coming out. And, um, something, is anything wrong with his kidney or his hip or something? He had a pain in his hip or something? Yeah, it was, I think, from a car wreck. He had a pain in his hip, and that kind of was a burden on him all his life. <laughs> and, um, he, uh, Mason, did he have to pay child support or was being forced to pay child support and he just wanted to kill himself because he had so much going on all at once and his wife is, which is, um, just attacked him with all kinds of burdens more and uh, she had, uh, she had kind of a mullet too around here, curly hair, is that true? I don't know who the fuck that I mean, is. She had, she had brown hair. Okay, okay, and um, he just... He had nowhere to go at the end. He had nowhere to go. Like, no one let him in. No one let him. He had no choice. He was, like, at the end of his rope. But he would talk about it sometimes. Like, oh, I might as well just kill myself. He would talk He would talk about it. Like, it's the end of his sentence sometimes. Even if he had an okay day, but he, just could never, he was never settled. He was always anxious. And, and no matter where he went, he could never get away from his problems. And it just kept on building up more and more. And it was just like, it just couldn't, you know, and it's... It's awful. And yeah. Did he chew tobacco? 
<laughs> and it looks like crap in his mouth. Yeah. Like, bad crap. And sometimes he would put a gun inside his mouth, but he wouldn't do it yet. He wouldn't do it. Something like that. But he's done, like, he's tempted himself, and he would talk to himself about it, and he would took some pills to do it too. Some kind of prescription pills, other like capsules. And, um, allergy pills too. Do you take allergy pills? He took pink allergy pills or something like that. Capitals. That's what it is. And, um, did one time he, like, foam out of the mouth and had, like, a seizure because of it? Something like that? Yeah, he had taken a lot of medication. He, he took a lot of, he, yeah, the prescriptions. And it was foaming out of the mouth at one point. It had seizures. And, uh, and people were around him at that time and trying to help him and make him throw it all up. Putting things in his mouth and throwing them up. Making him vomit. I don't even know this guy. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And, um, what's his astrology sign? Pisces? <laughs> he was a cancer. Oh, he's a cancer. So his my... birthday was two days after birth. Oh my gosh. Well, happy birthday to him, not you. <laughs> my dog's a cancer. Yeah, that's what I was talking about you. No, you're a cancer. Scorpio rising moon and Capricorn, and everyone's mad about it. See? I'm mad at you. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Right, blow that away from me. Blow that way. Far, far away from me. <laughs> I didn't plan to blow it at you. I know, you were trying to. You're lying. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, um... Also, hospice, too? With somebody on hospice or something? Or you worked for hospice? I worked for hospice. Lark, I knew it was you. He's the man their arms and stuff, you're always, you're, you're, you know, to do the job and people would come, people would, people would want to point to you to do things, they would always make you do it because you could do it best, yes. and you were more, you were more serious about your job, and they know that you could do it, and you're good at it, and you make, you comfort people at your job in the hospital, you're very comforting to them, and, uh, you, they send you in the little room to comfort people, to make them relax. Even though at home, you're a chaotic man. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you do calm people down. You're like a healing energy around people, too. And, um, tell them the bad news, you know? Tell them the bad news is what they all tell you to do. Go in there and just tell them the bad news. You know what I mean? And, um, uh, you know how to way to do them, how to way to touch them. You know what I mean? And get them, you know, heart feeling. <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> And someone said, you should be a dad, you're going to be a really good dad. Someone, just people just tell you this all the time, right? People are like, you're going to be such a good dad. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, that's really cool, huh? And then, we should do your bar chart too, because there's, um, that'd be fun to look at. <laughs> um, but, um, and, um, Wow, your like energy uh, glows more than everybody else's do in a lot of ways. You have different, you have several, you look like, um, you know one of those um, golfer stopper babies or whatever? Like there's different colors inside the rainbow, like of the core, like there's a layer of a color. Like the core uh, is like, yeah, like, like, the, like, like yellow, then thing. blue, and then a green aura, and then, then another or uh, 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 like a whole, you know, like, you know, it's so cool, like a thick, different colored auras inside from you, the core, do that, that's what it looks like to me, isn't that funny, to, to right now, I guess, Some, and, uh, you also have, like, I mean, like, this little orange thing that feels like it follows you or something, to make creative, some kind of change, I guess, happen, like, when change, I don't even know, something about orange, little ball, a light, a little mist comes and follows you, you know what I mean, those, you're just used to, Things poking at you anyways, and bouncing off you, and being around you anyways, because this big fucking fucking aura, awesome colors, and just different layers, just all separate, you know, different colors. You know what I mean? Such a weird, or interesting aura, and it's like really, um, like it's living. It's you. It's vibrant. It's very cool. It's very, yeah, it's totally awesome. It's a radical. Um. Um. You wear glasses sometimes, and then, um, you, you read a lot and all this bullshit, mm -hmm. kind of, and then, uh, you read up on master, you go to master's, I'm going to master, master, master degree, master degrees, something like that, 
and maybe psychology and philosophy or some bullshit professor. You want to be called a professor sometime? Professor? Is that true or not? Or let me just speak to myself. I mean, I'm going to doctorate school. Okay, you want to be called a professor though? Is that what you mean? And then, and you're gonna wear like a white coat. <laughs> No, I mean, yeah, comes with the oh, it does. Well, that's what maybe that's gonna be in the future. So, <sighs> and then um, um, your sister, stepsister, and a stepsister or a stepsister. She has red hair. Is that true? Mm -hmm. All right. So she's the treat and treating you with something or treatment, some kind of treatment. I don't know. And uh, she's kind of the one. It feels like she. You owe her money for something to get ahead, and she's, you know, burdening you with it a lot, and she's holding you back, but she's, did you owe her money for getting you ahead or something like that's what she thinks, I think. I'm not sure. Something like that? I don't think she thinks anything, seeing as she's dead. Oh, well, fuck. But she did help you get, um, ahead? Yes. Okay. And she had the red hair. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. But she did help you get ahead. But she also helped, it seems like, when you're feeling held back, or she's holding you back, but getting you ahead at the same time, in between. Because she's not here, is what it is, I think. Oh, yeah. wow. What is she, Capricorn? I don't know. Her birthday was August the 1st. Wrong. She's like a Virgo. Or Leo. Then she's a Leo. Then, like, your rising sign. <laughs> okay, um... But yeah, I guess she comes around you, I suppose, obviously. Who else is going to? Because your presence is able to be seen and, and heard by the light. And the other light beings are going to surround you because they found it. <laughs> like the lantern. And, um, um, awesome. And, um, <laughs> and, um, then... You like, do you like, um... I don't even know why I'm doing the Sam I Am kind of bullshit. Like, I... I have something to do with that. You know what I'm talking about? Like Dr. Seuss? Yes, Dr. Seuss. Something about that, I don't know why. But I think that's not sitting in the honor book, but oh well. <laughs> but, um, I don't know then. Fine. After you, CK. <laughs> um, well, well, this is cool. You got tattoosies. Oh, that, somebody's, somebody's, somebody is, a, uh, you know, pride in the Gemini symbol and they're not dumb. I suppose. I don't really know anything about this. I'm just getting all on camera and then look at it later. Because it's creative and stuff. <sighs> okay. Okay. Uh, ask me a psychic question that you think I should uh, ask me something so I can try to see if I can answer something cool. Um. And the trailer park? Did you ever live there? Huh. No. Well, did you have to go to the back stories to get to the trailer park? You had a trailer in the back somewhere, something about back story, back, I don't know. Something about that. Maybe. Maybe not. I have no clue. I mean, the only person I ever lived in a trailer was my uncle. Oh, okay. The one who could have said or not? Yeah. Okay, then. Then, 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 back to him. He wants to get back to that, I think. I want to get back to him. <laughs> Um, extraterrestrial, you go, yeah, extraterrestrial, oh my god, I can't be responsible for this, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that, um, god, reality is retarded and psycho, <laughs> creatures are weird, but we're in this human world, like, that's good, that we're safe, <laughs> um, did he wear glasses too sometimes? My uncle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing him do that. And you think about extraterrestrials. You go outside and talk about aliens or something like that. Is what he talked about. Yes. That's what I'm seeing him do. Like his philosophical side. And I'm um, wondering about that. And um, He had a bicycle too. Right? Mm -hmm. And he would bicycle far, far, far on like big land to get places. Sometimes. Really far. And, um, like in the grass. Like, you know, alleyways have, uh, dirt roads, but it's like, that's all there was when I drive. Yeah. Ride bicycle. That's what I'm saying, I guess. And, um... 
Oh my god, there was a bar down the, on yonder from where he lived. And, uh, well, he partied up with them people, them girls. <laughs> and had some, mm, you know what I mean? He yeah. was very generous to them, so they would be generous to him. Is that what happened? Back in his prime, yes. He would kind of be generous. <laughs> Anyways, I guess I was right, though. I'm seeing this, right? I'm on him. And, um... Um... <laughs> and, um... Twelve... Twelve salamanders? Something about salamanders? I don't know. And, uh, uh, frog babies? You know, what are those, what are those things called? Tad tadpoles? Anything to do with that, too? Like a pond? Salamanders? Tadpoles? They had a pond at their house. They had a pond full of them, those things? I mean, yeah. Salamanders and tadpoles. That's what I'm saying. I guess. I don't know about salamanders. I never got to the pond. Well, I don't know. Just coming to me some kind of crap like that. I'm wondering. Um, so that's fun. And, um... And something about your ears. Your ear. This one. Inside, maybe. You had ear infection? Mm -hmm. You had ear infection in this ear. And your uncle helped you with that? Or looked inside your ear? He would blow smoke and drip tobacco down into it to get it to... The pain to relieve? Yeah. Well, that's not good. But he, that's what he would... He was telling me about this ear. This ear right here. Mm -hmm. He wants... There's, there's, see, a, there's like this... You feel it? Old oh my god, did I do something wrong? There's an old like I'm not cool at like all. Your will blow smoke in your ear. Oh yeah? Like, Really? This is old. Okay, you tell us. What did you say? This is old white tail. There's an old white tail. Mm -hmm. Like that, if your if your uncle blows smoke in your ear, it'll make the infection go away. Wow, that's really interesting. I've never heard about that. Okay, back to um him cleaning up my freaking stupid mess because something. Kind of... So we're gonna take a break. And... The plan is, because I don't want to stop talking about Azora stuff, is we're going to sacrifice them, because we're going to pull out we're all, all his guts of Aura, because I really want to experiment on this Aura thing that he's got going on, because a lot of spirits want to haunt him because of this, so I think I'm going to, too. I'm going to just, like, I'm just going to follow what they're doing, and I'm like, oh, that's why you want to do that when you're, you know, and stuff like that, probably just kidding, <laughs> just kidding. But it's kind of, like, it's kind of tempting to, um, want to, like, Make a little incision in there and see what's inside. <laughs> Experiment. Uh, <laughs> well, anyways, that's cool. Okay, back to the. I like that. Okay, so um, yeah, so all these spirits are still around you right now. They're communicating with me, I guess, or the memory, obviously, because he, he's tell, he told me to tell you about yours, like tell you about his ear and stuff like that. That's pretty. And that's pretty like. You can't even tell. You don't even have a fucking piercing or nothing on this ear. I actually have three holes in each. Oh, you do have some holes in there. Okay. <laughs> Never mind, I'm a liar. <laughs> well, I'm not a liar, but yeah, I'm stupid. <sighs> well, anyways, that's that. And I'm just wanted to say something like that for a minute, and then... I can come back to this. Let me see if I can come back to this. Okay, uh, the dark demons are in that room right there. The poltergeist. Not good. That's sleeping there. Can you die? <laughs> 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 yeah. But there's other other spirits, you know, your family and stuff going around, and that's cool. And then there's like a fairy over there by your car or something that's blue, I don't know, and that's by the tree. And that's, would be fun to see if we can go take a picture of that later. Put this in there. Okay, whatever. Um, back to the rate, Ray. Um, but, um, all, I mean, all you gotta do is meditate or something, and then your aura's like changing colors all over again, all over again. Like, it's just, it's there to reach you. It's like so cool. Such a cool energy. All kinds of creative shit going on right there. Right there. It is. Anyways, okay. We'll get back to this in a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Stupid story, like, because I'm like third house Leo too, so that's how I communicate. Your rise is said to be Leo. And that'd be just fun to think about the combo combat. If anything, because I think everything's just a big old joke. <laughs> and a competition and a game. Could be, but not like in a bad way. 
like, it could be in a good, playful way because it's funny. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I don't need to record this, but what would you think about the four face being anyways? Have you ever heard of it? Nobody really has. You know, have you even read the Bible that sucks and stupid shit because no one gives a fuck and nobody has to, but a lot of people fucking think that they have to work. You know what I mean? Be pathetic. Because we don't need it. <laughs> but 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 we need it now because if I don't have any information about this, someone needs to write it down. <laughs> someone needs to tell me because I'm all alone. <laughs> I don't know. The four face being it, and he says it's the seraphim, right? Yeah. And he knows all about it. So tell us some more about that. It's just it's like a it's like an angel that God created to do his work. Like, to do his work. Actually, yeah. it's like four face beings are the ones that are supposed to be like the. It's supposed to be the protector of the thorn, the God's thro throne, God's throne, right? Like, you can't see G God because um, it's protected by these beings, and you can see heaven and stuff, and, it's pro and then some people said it, this had to do with the Garden of Eden or something, but, like, right here and now, literally, in spirit, if we can get intelligently, socially connected to it, like we just did today, like we were recording, we can still do that again, <laughs> but, like, we can see this being, and communicate with what the fuck it is and no one's been seeing it. No many creatures knows it. I'm amazing to see it. I feel like, right? And it has four faces. A lion face like a Leo, the king bitch of all the cats. And then it has like ox face, which is my ultimate favorite. That's the last to talk about because it's the one that was chosen by God to pour all the anger out. And that's your tenth houses in Taurus, right? So like, you could just like Reflect and exercise the energies that exist between all of us. <laughs> and, um, like, yeah. <laughs> Groovy. Oh my god, Avril Lavigne's the ox, too. And I'm mad about it. But I'm actually on the cusp of it in the, in, in the months. And on the cusp of, like, everything. But that's so cool. <laughs> People just would be awesome if they didn't believe me. Because I think that that's good to know about... Cusp exists, do you think cusp exists on astrology? Because some people don't. That's ridiculous, right? Do you think the sunlight can fucking shine on more than one planet at the same time? Yes, it can, because it's shining on all the rest of them. That's what makes our placements and makeup who we are in that, but we're more than just that, right? We all already know that, right? But like, right now, here to talk about that's really cool. Anyway, whatever. But what do you think about that bullshit? Because you don't care, you're not care. But like, so you see all these things and all this other stuff. So, what about that thing? What is it? Why? What is it? Why? What is it? Why is Seraphine Sims? What the fuck are they? Uh, and if we do, it, since they are, what do we do with it in the presence of its craziness? And it's supposed to be gloriously ferocious. I know that's what it feels like. I know what Jesus feels like. And it's that's what it kind of like is an experience to feel all these energies and all this crazy. It heals you and makes you regenerate and you, you're more, you get to share these energies that's so different from this. It's all I, I can tell. It's like, we're just company. Everyone's like comforting each other, but there's so much to tell about each other. It's a story. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's awesome. I'll read your story and you read mine because <laughs> you have the ability and it's going to happen. I'm going to make you pull out your psychic ability. You know what? I've been told that someone's going to write me out of my shell or something, but it's called somebody else. The spirit told me he's going to break you out. Or break you, not, I don't know, something like that, I, but it's not, something like that, or break you out of your shell, it's, it's similar to saying break you out of your shell, what would it be? I don't really know, I don't remember. <laughs> I mean, break you out of your shell? Yeah, but it's just shortcut version without the whole entire thing, like, without the word shell in it, because it was not the word shell, but it's like, sounds like that. Without that word, how can you answer that question? <laughs> Someone told me that, I don't give a fuck, anyways, I'm recording for no reason. <laughs> Okay, what would you- okay, this is what I'm gonna- okay, since we are in client- we're- we're in touch with spirits, we can all be in touch with work today. Um, okay? Um, like, um, okay, so, the power of three trying to be on camera now, yes, half of your head is because of the curtain and there is not deep enough to go inside to- I mean, there's a box right there. What would you do if that's cool? Inevitably, we're halfway there. Pull your ass over here and pull your ass my nowhere because I'll just put you there. <laughs> but I can't get you. Somebody else is another guest. Somebody else is coming in here. 
Huh? Is something else coming in here? Didn't plan on it. Okay, look at this shit. If I'm gonna, like, put... Okay, well, let's channel some spirits. <laughs> Wouldn't it be so cool? What if no. Be cool? Well, what if it'd be cool to talk to the being that's actually in here instead of ignoring it, even if it's, like, sucking the life out of themselves? No, and it's hard to ignore it. Yeah. If you're talked to it and heard it, say anything about anything in general. Uh, maybe it sounds for a week. It doesn't seem like it has really? any personality to it. And it's just like, yeah. and I can't tell what it is. I hope it's not something underneath it. That's I'm evil. Like yeah. Do you think it's just evil or not? I mean, it's a nuisance. What the fuck is like a bed? Oh no, I looked underneath the house and it was pretty it's sketchy. It's useless. Probably a buried body. So there's other beings too? Okay. Because I don't know. I'm not lying. I just don't know what the fuck it is. Good enough to know because I, when, I, when I pick up them, it's kind of just like a nuisance that's not going to communicate with me. That's all I'm saying. I'm not happy with. But like, why does it do that? I don't know. Why does it do that? It, at least it gets us attention. At least you can feel something. It didn't hurt me one bit that I know of. I know what it took for me. <laughs> it does, or try and get inside of me, right? That's what it is. That's what it did. What do you think about that bullshit? It happens to you all the time, but your bubble is so I mean, much more protected, and so you can stand these stupid things. To me, it just, it's draining. It bounces off your fucking ass, That's because you have a bubble. Something's also about, I guess, wouldn't that be protective? Whatever you have around you now, you know, your aura is like unusual. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you sleep good? Never. But it's like, why do you think I have drain catchers tattooed on me? <laughs> well, like, I try so hard. How hard to get the dreams? You will never do. Okay, guess what your dreams is? Your, it's your ninth house. And your third house is when you wake up. Let's see. What's, how do you go in order from Leo to the third house? I don't know. What's before um, Scorpio? Because your fourth house is Scorpio. What is that? Sagittarius? Or is it like Libra? Oh, it's like Libra? So, like, you don't want to go to bed by yourself? Like, you just think that. Is that right? Like, it's like, you have to be- I hate sleeping alone. Okay, well, that's what it is, because Libra's a partner sign. It means it needs another partner. It, what, it, if it's gonna do anything with its- anything with its a view of God and its velocity and what it does when it goes- right before it goes to sleep, it's- it, it wants to be with somebody. You know, like a, a marriage. It wouldn't be married in bed. When you wake up, you become this selfish, get the fuck out of my house, bitch, because I'm all that was- I, I'm, I'm gonna start a war. You don't like me, but when we go to bed, I I, t I, t I took you in. I'm like caving you in that. But you know what? I would love to be stuck in a room with you. It's awesome. <laughs> Whatever. Um, so, yeah, you know what I mean? Is that kind of like that? That's my astrological perception, not my psychic ability for you on that. Just that, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I don't wake up the next morning being a bitch. Whatever. I just like to call it names. You can just put it into whatever you want to. But it's like not with. I would love to go to bed by myself. Bye. <sighs> Sometimes, you know what I mean? But I also then people will be like, it's hard for me, I don't know why, but I, like, I got a whole ninth house full of a bunch of planets. And that's all it is. And my sun, moon, and Mercury's going all in there. And it never been any sleep because it runs up its nerves since the Mercury's in there. I really won't. <laughs> what? <laughs> and my moon's in there, my emotions. So I have to be in touch with all of this like, once before I go to bed. If I'm from time to time, probably. It's very healthy. Or what I do. And I'll talk a lot. So, bye. <laughs> We're like just playing. We're like in the middle of all these planets. It's also oh, like 2 a.m. when you're doing your private I want to be hyper during the time right now. I want to get this beef out of my system. I want it to just go away because I ate this nasty canned beef. You know what I mean? It was so gross. Ew. <laughs> I don't eat things out of a can unless it's. I'm trying to make everything for free. That's all that's going on. I don't give a fuck. I'll eat anything that I'm not allergic to because I'm used to not being able to eat anything because everything's you don't eat infected. Anything out of a can? Not I'll eat anything. Yeah. I can't believe that I'm allergic to so many things, and it's rare for me to find something to eat, so I'll just eat it, like, if I can attack it, like a bear. Like, I'll go for it. I feel okay, but I never bummed up anything. I don't really do anything. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, like, this beef is inside me. It's gross. And I might as well get it out with deep, this dehydrating skin coffee, but, like, it makes you feel better when you, like, get to a shit. <laughs> and, you know, I've already had an oil clean, but I really like the feeling my brain being tingled by the caffeine, you know? <laughs> Yeah, us nurses have a treat for that called mini fits. Coffee at a uh, hospital is so it's delicious because like, it's not free not and like that's what we're right here. I don't like real sugar at all. I like garbage. How old are you? That's not your friend. My friend. Well, it should be. I don't know. Let's see. You seem older, but but I don't think you are. Huh? You're 15 years old. Fuck you. Me too. <laughs> you're fucking. You're mad about it. <laughs> you can't play basketball. <laughs> I don't know, like, early 20s. I'm so glad I didn't come over there. Oh my god, I have to 
have shorts that match them, and I'm not wearing them. Oh my god. <laughs> but it would be cool if I could tell you that I was wearing them. I do have them. I was holding them today. Last time I was just wearing purple. He was wearing purple. Which I really like purple, but. Wait. I was wearing we something like completely them? different, and then he pulled up, and I was like, you know what? Like, you like purple like too? This. You like purple too? What's your favorite color? I hate yeah, till, and that's so cool. A lot of Gemini's like that. I'm just kidding. Lavender beige is mine, not yours. <laughs> the only reason that I like purple is because it's the colors of suicide. Awareness. Okay. Purple is the color of suicide. 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 Purple is I'm, a, I'm in a whole mode of mood. What? No, what did you just say? I'm just trying to play down You now. are a whole mood. A whole mood? A whole mood? Like in a mood? Like what kind? Explain it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you love? <laughs> He's like, my spirit animal. <laughs> me or you? Yeah. Or me and her? <laughs> I would like to get in contact with her and she could tell me some business, if anything. But I'm not going there yet. I would like to. Someone needs me. I need to be the. I need y'all to have an owner so you like to talk to. I'm your owner, so I don't really know how to talk to you, but you're just a moon and Capricorn discipline bitch, so I'm so glad. Look at that motherfucking lot. That mm -hmm. it has to happen. Look at that. That's going to happen forever. I have to get that out later. Mm -hmm. I can do it right now. You work tomorrow? It's like a tick. No, I'm also Friday. That's mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. I don't work, so mm -hmm. I, I just That's got my degree. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get a degree in? Organization leadership with a minor in art history. And you went to what? The world of the world? Duh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have seven. I was gonna like. I don't know. Like, we all thought she was kidding. And I don't she was not. Like, she is bossy as hell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she's like, get over here. We're just like, what is wrong with you? She's like, I told you to get these papers filed. I'm like, first of all, bitch, I don't work for you. <laughs> She's a hot. Mm -hmm. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I love y'all talking so much. <clears throat> Are you gonna stop and watch me do this bullshit? You'll watch uh, it. I'm just like, I wanna hear you so I, bad. What's going on? Is you driving a boy or a girl? Huh? It's a girl. I have a dog brush. I'm cool too. But anyways, look, I did it. Now you're cured. But this little oh. thing, thing, sometimes I just put it backwards. And we'll point the other way instead of like that way. I'm bored. What do you want to do? Hey, shoot, this one is um, Leo rising and you have fourth house. I mean, no, this one has Scorpio rising and you have fourth house Scorpio. So, what if we connect those together and see what happens? <laughs> Maybe that's why y'all are readable. That's probably why, because you're at home and you have spirits here. This cult knowledge is well by Scorpio. And that's where my luck planet is, my Jupiter's in there. And that makes me a second email. I wonder where your psychic indicators are. So that's why I'm showing you this most long out, drawn out conversation. Because that would be so cool to find your psychic. Uh, why are you psychic in these little, this little uh, astrology world? Obviously, fourth house Scorpio gives that away. But uh, is anything else in there? Obviously, 10th house Taurus, you use that spiritually because your body is filled with stuff and spiritual bullshit. So, I want to see more <laughs> about your birth chart. I thought you were going. <laughs> that's the green one. That's the green one. Oh yeah, probably, because she's a bitch. She's more aggressive. <laughs> yes, that's why I put a, all of Yes, she is. See, this is what I put in a different dark, dark hole way. But uh, that's what I'd say Scorpio is also buttercup. Gemini's buttercup is air. Scorpio is water. And then I'd say um, Capricorn would be buttercup or whatever. And then I said, uh, what's earth? Who cares? But anyways, yeah, shit. And then you would be like, bubbles rising. Because that's Leo. What the fuck are you talking about? Because you're Leo rising, that would be your bubbles rising, okay? You'll come off as bubbles, but you're really a buttercup. And then your moon is in buttercup as well, so... Because that would be Sagittarius buttercup. Then consider it bitch. <laughs> but 
But the moon in uh, Sagittarius, I don't know, it's got to be different than just the sun sign. It's completely different. The rising sign is way different world. I mean, it's really cool to know that, but it's like the same sign there. Uh, astrology is all in the speaking part of me completely. <laughs> It doesn't matter if you think Do it's I real think or not. Do I think people act the way they act because of their astrology sign? Partly. No. I think it comes to do with your raising yeah. and where you put yourself in society. The third yeah. house and the fourth house and the tenth house. <laughs> All real bad. <laughs> and eighth house. <laughs> like, I was raised in the ghetto. Oh my God. <laughs> Would you believe that? What? Is this your own house? Is it an apartment? What is this? Is this my house? <gasps> Amazing. You're like a kid in a house. <laughs> like your own place. That's so cool. It is really cool. You know, off my side of the bed. Okay. So I rolled over on my side. That's and he goes back to the, ki- uh, to the living room because we were already fighting. And he came back into the room like five minutes later. He's like, you know what? No. You can get on the floor and sleep like a good one. You're not allowed it's four o'clock in the morning. I was really not trying to deal with this man. This man was six foot two and nothing but muscle. I was mm-hmm. not trying to deal with that in my life at four o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. So I figured mm-hmm. I can sit on the floor, and wait for him to go back to floor. sleep. I get back in my bed. Well, I heard him start snoring. Got back in the bed. The bed squeaked. He came in, grabbed me, threw me into the wall. Why? Goes into the kitchen, starts complaining about the dishes being dirty, and oh, I'm just yeah. like, well, I've been gone since, like, 7 a.m., so? so those are your dishes. I'm not even ready to do either, so shut the fuck up. Well, he brought a bowl of dirty water that would been no. soaking all day. That is so irrational. And mm. poured it on me. That is so irrational. So I get up, dry off, he brings another bowl of water, dumps that on me. So I go to the kitchen, I start doing the dishes, that way he puts more That's not going to make you feel any... Well rested <laughs> enough to be able to do the chores. So the kitchen started washing the dishes, and he was oh, cooking like something to eat at four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Picked the skillet up off the soap and laid it into my bag. Mm-hmm. And when he did, I lost it. I turned around, and started beating the crap out of the man. I went from the kitchen into the bathroom mm-hmm. into the guest bedroom and heading down to a two foot wide closet, just beating the dog crap out of this mm-hmm. man. I had my view. Did he have? No, keep going. Mm-hmm. In the Sorry. guest bedroom, we had a glass shelf. Because he was all about political science, like that was his major and everything in college, and he was all about politics, so there was nothing but presidents and stuff on the shelves. And we had an axe for, you know, mm-hmm. on a stage. Right? That was the one that had the axe, was that George Washington? Wait, I have no clue. George Washington was a Pisces, though. Um, uh, Abraham Lincoln was a Pisces. Is he the one that chopped the cherry tree down? The youngest one, I mean, the, 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 the oldest one was the one with the cherry chop chop, is what I heard. Because they got the, you know, the George Renaissance Washington. one? Yeah. Which okay. one was older? So it was an ex Yeah, he's the Pisces. <laughs> and I had gotten up off of him and I was walking away. God damn, my throat's just um, You want something to drink, huh? <laughs> well, you know, I had something. <laughs> I had something. <laughs> no, I'm good. I got more That's water in there. So funny. But. Uh, so I got up off of him, and I was walking back to the room, and I heard the axe it's sliding nice. across the glass shelf. So I turned back around about the time that he was coming out with the axe, and I threw my arm up, and I slung down, I reached in, grabbed my phone and my wallet, and I turned back around to run out the door. Your wallet. And when I did, he just laid it right to the back of my head. Mm-mm. Did it knock you off? No, I had no idea that it happened. I ran down the street mm-hmm. in Houston, Texas, mm-hmm. in my mm-hmm. drawers and a white t-shirt, a ran straight to Waterburger, ran up in there, mm-hmm. Miss Elma, the night manager, I will always remember this woman, mm-hmm. she said, baby, are you okay? Mm-hmm. I said, uh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm just going through a lot right now. She's like, I bet you are, what's that sitting at the back of your head? <gasps> I said, what do you mean? She said, baby, there's something sitting at the back of your head. And oh, I just kind of felt up, and I felt it, and I just literally called an ambulance, and oh, I passed my out. Oh my god, that is fucking crazy. I woke up in the hospital, and the doctor said, you know, man, you are very lucky to be alive. I don't know how it didn't go all the way through. I said, my mom always told me I was hard-headed. Oh my god, that's insane. That is insane. And here I am. What am I going to get a It's sitting right up there. Oh, we're still recording. Oh my god, I love you. Bye. Bye.
you already recorded it. But the story is yeah. not too good. And my mom came in there, she looked, she's like, Christy, there's somebody in the hallway or the bathroom, and shut the fuck up. So Christy comes back out of the bathroom, and she's like, Mama, BJ's in the hallway. That night, I woke up to see red eyes like, staring back at me. And I'm a little fucking kid, and he looked just like me. That's freaking creepy. Yeah, they called him a little boy. And it was because my grandparents' house was built on a Civil War battery. Remember when I mentioned you were that little boy thing? <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> it's like when he was talking about my grandmother talking to me about, you know, being good boy. And I was just like, because like he literally used to get me in trouble. Mm -hmm. He would like roll cards through mm -hmm. the house and into the kitchen. And my grandparents would think it was me. And I wouldn't be in the house. Like, I'd be outside playing. That's messed up. That was a great one. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I wasn't right now. I love everything that you had to say. <laughs> I got lots of my bathroom yesterday. You go out? <laughs> How did that yeah. happen? Like, I would got in the shower, and, like, this door not been working perfectly fine, and I got out of the shower, and I tried to open the door, and it wouldn't open. And I was like, uh uh, this is not how I'm going out. I called to my stand out. I was like, hey, look, bro, <laughs> you gotta come over here and open this door because I'm not about it. Yeah, he came and busted me. Oh, no. Why can't they unscrew the door knob? Because <laughs> I needed out the edge. <laughs> like, yeah. I needed out. It was hot up in that bitch. There ain't no AC in there. Uh -uh. Oh. I'm fat. I'm dying. Oh. It's like when I walked outside tonight. Like, it's so freaking hot. Wet, hot, like nasty. This ain't nothing compared to where I'm from. No, where are you from? I'm from Helena, Arkansas. Okay. Let me just tell you what I just said. <laughs> I don't remember. Like, uh, I said, um, you guys are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. But this one right now has something extreme about it. It's the aura. The aura. It's extreme, other than other humans, extreme aura is doing, you know? So, like, that's something to pronounce. <laughs> and just, like, abbreviate. <laughs> so, that's pretty interesting to observe, as you don't even know, because you're yourself, and everybody else is their self, and they're, like, not the same. But do you understand that, too? You think you're, like, pretty unique as in... Ain't nobody else just like me. Yeah, there's nobody like you, but it's so unique in this bit, like, spiritual way, right? Super, like, you live every day in the spiritual, like, every day at home. <laughs> but where else is your psychic like, indicator? That's what we want to find out. I'm just gonna find <laughs> it. Like, okay, anyways, I knew it. I didn't even tell you this. Remember when I asked you about Venuses and what you think you're with me? I was literally thinking this one, Cancer, and that is, like, the... Worst one ever. Just kidding. This is the best one you'll ever have ever. You'll net that's not the worst. I'm just kidding. I say that's the worst as in I mean that is the best. That's like my favorite one. Venus and Cancer is the best one. And obviously that fits you perfectly. But with other things about you too that are you know, ter terribly good big personalities as well, you know, I mean that stands out uh outrageously, but this one it means that you 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 really you you mother and nurse you, well, you know, the guy that was a cycle when he was a cancer, but what the hell? You would spoil your mate in a relationship because you're cancer. You're like the mother, the warm and nourishing person that welcomes people in with like sweets and stuff and love and all this good, like, I'm your yeah, mom and I'll adopt you. Over. You know what I mean? Yeah. Somebody, but they don't need to be pushovers. That's awful. And they don't, the, the, the things that you do for them, they just don't recognize that they should be appreciative of it. Because that's really literally because they're like the best. Anyways. Okay, anyways, your Mars is in Libra. This is how you get mad at people. So you're like, like the Libra. <laughs> so, like, you would just, like, complain so much about somebody behind their back or whatever because you don't want confrontation because, like, you didn't have no, to have it. Fight. And then, like, on the other sand scale would be, like, that hypocrite or vocal person as well. You know what I mean? Or something like that. I don't really know, but, like, Mars and Libra is in from all the other placements. It means that you don't like to have one at sand. You like to make people feel like you're actually going on a date with them. Before you actually have that type of one night stand, I mean, like, you at least want to bond with them in a uh, relational way. Because your ninth house is also, well, obviously, in, um, now we're going to see what your ninth house really is in. Because it is all of a different 
all different. All this is different. You're not even fourth house Scorpio. But I think you're still fifth houses in Scorpio. Around parties and the heart. And your your yeah, your heart is fucking huge. Like your your aura core is like a, like it's a gold and shit and it's really yellow. And then you have all this today anyways. Now you're turning purple and stuff. And that's really weird as well. You have different aura you have different I guess everybody has different colors for the inside of the auras and the outside the ethnic aura that we can actually see in front of our eyes. Because there's a mental view of the, your aura and then there's like the aura that you can see with your eyes. Like as your leg is like freaking um glowing uh really pretty blue colors or whatever. Anyways Dude, now you have to give me your password. <laughs> That's not my password. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Your moon is in Sagittarius, so like you're in considerate bad. I, I, I'm not talking about you at all because, like, uh, I, you know, I'm just going by what I thought about, uh, what I would say about this astrology placement somehow. It's not like I'm, what I think I'm like, handsome. Yeah, so, um, okay, well, anyways, forget that because I'm just going to jump around to your ninth house. Well, hey. Well, your ninth house is in Pisces as well. That's your ninth house. So you're, you're scary, scary psychic there, I guess. But like, that's your philosophy. So when you, before you go to bed, maybe you have to take medication or something. It's not too normal drugs. And people go to sleep with medication to go to sleep or some shit. Ninth house of Pisces. <laughs> yeah, it's like a that is so horrible. <laughs> and then guess what happens next? The first time I took it, it knocked me out for two days. Yeah. I wish you wouldn't do that ever again, because it goes so bad. I'm a pharmacy technician. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. So I know all about those drugs. <laughs> I mean, I know, like, oh my god. circles some, like, horrible. Heavy. I used to be on, like, the highest dosage they could ever give me when I was, like, eight years old. On, on circle. Because I would stay awake for, like, four or five days at a time. Yeah. And I want to tell you something wonderful. Your third house is in Virgo. I love it so much, right? Third house of Virgo, how you communicate and think and analyze everything and put, get rid of the toxins and put in the, take the minerals and nutrients and then, you know, like, organize it. Like, when you think, you could be a very good writer and publisher or something and stuff. That'd be badass. Yeah, so the authors are much better. Yeah, you're probably a grammar snob and fuck you. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but you are? <laughs> well, whatever. Anyways, next subject. Um, your fourth house is in Libra, so you have a beautiful home, and that's where you are. See, um, then you'll be a hypocrite at home, and a bit, uh, at the, in, in the public side, you're like competitive, and um, um, your tenth house is in Aries. So you do things without thinking and you're like doing it fast and you, hard work is like you are not lazy at all. Like you're like the leader of everything, like whatever, on your own doing because no one else is going to do it. And it's really hard for you to be yourself in that hard work, but it is yourself. That's what it's all about. It's kind of like you're relational or more when you're at home than you are outward. So you're not a fourth house Scorpio. Your fifth house is in Scorpio and that's why you're, your heart is all glowing all whatever's going on in there today. Let's see what your fifth house is. Hmm. Scorp your fifth house is in Scorpio. Why am I obsessed with thinking that you're a Scorpio fourth house? I don't know because there's demons in there and that's what I think. <laughs> but anyways, are not really. There's dark things that are from Scorpio, I think. <sighs> I don't know, whatever. Anyways, your Pluto's in Sagittarius. I knew it. This was like imprinted all in my brain. I swear to God. I was looking at you trying to get us to go record this Venus and shit. And I was thinking cancer bitch. Okay, thank you. The best ever. It was just coming to me like a stamp. But I thought so too. Whatever. Anyways, despite the fact that you have this healing bullshit hands and all this good stuff, amazing world of all, you know, all this of being a mother, you know, that's what it is. So, so it is makes you beautiful love, mothering. That's what beauty is, is Venus. It's ruled by Libra and Taurus. And you are in this character of cancer. You're looking for a home. You're looking for family. You're working for being, you know what I mean? Some kind of bullshit. I don't know. It's wonderful. Like, so far out. <laughs> Makes you a nicer person, kinder person to people in front of you. Like, your Jupiter's in the course, you're lucky with the astrology already. You're lucky with being in the knowledge. You're being friendly and persistent and treating everyone equally and giving God's love to everyone. And don't personalize the rest of them. But I can't. Do okay, your Saturn's in Aries, so you have restriction on your face. You have, like, stress in it. And, like, your dad was pushing forcefully. Your, your mom's the one that traveled you around um, school to school or something to learn shit or you know what I mean or some bullshit 
So your son, is, if you might have a false identity of yourself, like who you are. Yeah, right, or he could give you the, an identity or whatever, something. It could to give it and take it away from you. Like how you react to other people, like your rising sign Leo, how you get, it would crumble your ego with your uh, persona. So it's trying to make you have a humble ego. It's trying to make you control that. You know what I mean? I mean? Like restriction? I have no clue. Whatever. <laughs> your Uranus is in Paris, it's home with itself, so it's like, the unusual is no normal for it, natural. And then like, Neptune and Capricorn are cameras. Pluto and Sagittarius, you're really good at researching and studying all this bullshit. That's when you want to isolate yourself and learn something. You probably like read or some bullshit. Just when you're isolated, so when you be alone, you want to study, you want to learn something. You want to go on an adventure. That's what you want to do when you go alone. You can have uh, secrets. I get in my car and drive. And secrets. Hmm. And you travel. You know what I mean, right? What the fuck? You're a little of Virgo. People I mean, want to you would think that he's reading this on my phone, but all it is is it tells which one's which. This is Oh, he I'm doing like, whatever. At least they're not reading it. Right. It makes me sound like I'm reading it because I'm ridiculous. But anyways, <laughs> your Lilith is in Virgo. Nobody wants to see you do this. Whatever, dude. I love everything you do, even if you might even have, I don't even remember what your Lilith is doing. But oh well, right? It would be a, you would be a Virgo that people don't, that to be arrogant and um, proud of what you did that people are making you not do or leading you not to do is, you know what I mean, like, because you're taking things in your own hands instead of being dominated by everybody else, is like everyday routine and relationship with animals and, you know, because it's what Virgo rules and the relationship with plants or whatever and being a farmer, being productive and selling things like a scam artist and shit, people don't want to see this bullshit, bad behavior from you, so like, get over it. And plus, like, you will show risk. You will try to take risk of every single day happening to you, like, what you do every single day. You want to take a risk and, um, make it perfect or something. <laughs> Must be. But whatever. And you, that's so cool. And your life purpose is Virgo. So that means you're lived right to live in your own abundance and be a perfectionist. And have a day-to-day -day routine, but you lack is what it's supposed to be. But have one? I'm sure you do, because look at all the stuff you got to do and what you just accomplished, right? Like, what the hell? So, purposeful, you doing it, man. Jam at it, it's awesome. But your luck is sad, uh, Jupiter and Aquarius, just like mine. We get to be lucky with being, like, the, uh, with our friends and the knowledge of Aquarius and the persistence. And it still takes us a leap to do. We have to do it. It's like a little bit of lesson, too, whatever. Um, because, like, it's the outcast feeling. This person needs to treat everyone equally. And it will, you know, it's all really crazy. And it's rules of astrology, so, like, <laughs> look at it <laughs> you'll be like you'll be lucky with it even if you have to learn lessons through it like it's kind of like saturn but it's not as much capricorn because capricorn and aquarius both rule saturn but aquarius also rules just like uranus and saturn uranus is just like all this new ideas and shit new futuristics and all this bullshit you're at home with it because you're uranus is in aquarius and i don't know what house it's in because i'm not looking people don't even look at that because they don't give a fuck and it's in the um b11 i hate numerology the sixth, seventh house of other people, your shadow self. You see other people as different from you, just like the Aquarius itself. You see your luck as different from you, too. You know what I mean? <laughs> you're too good for the shit. Because <laughs> you're Leo Narcissus rising. I, the girl that I was with today yeah. literally mm -hmm. tells me that on a daily basis. She's like, <laughs> you are such a narcissistic asshole because, like, I look down on everybody. <laughs> and I'm just like, I don't even look down on people. I, just, I can read okay. that from you. Though. Right? I'm just you I'm have not pride, psychic, but I can read people. Do you have? Is this like because you have pride too, obviously, or you don't? I don't even get it. I <laughs> know uh, he's, he's proud. Of I'm what very he does. proud. I would too. Yeah, like, I, I'm I would very do. prideful. That'd be great because that's what you come off supposed to be like the Leo person of you, the mask. That's what this is, the Leo rising. But you also have second house Leo, which is your possessions and shit. So you can just like this, lie into your possessions and food and stuff. Mm, whatever that means for you. <laughs> get attention to get some food. I don't know. <laughs> whatever your value in a relationships do. Because your second house. And maybe your left eye. This is what the side you want to show to everybody. And um, the right eye is 12th house cancer. Which is your eyes going to look half cancer too to me too. Your 12th house is your spirit. Your cancer. You are the mother. Your spirit. You beat everybody into your spirituality world. Into your spirit. Because you are Venus cancer. And then it's like your 12th house is in cancer. But... 
Does that make sense for you? But your moon is in Sagittarius and considered fucking douchebag. Unaffectionate. Other than all this other glowing instruments inside of you, which is fucking cancer with the healing goddamn water of all this bullshit in your spirit, you know what I mean? This is, this is awesome. Like, you're filled with so much spirit, right? But, like, but that's what it would remind me of. And that Venus and cancer are just, like, so, like, totally came to me before I looked at this. Not that I'm doing a good job at talking about this, but I, I, I don't... Okay. I'm okay with that. Because, like, whatever. Um, sixth house every day is Capricorn. You, that's... That's how you make every day. It's your career and your hard work or whatever. Because Capricorn, you got to grow up fast every day. You got to be your own father every day or something like that. Right? <laughs> you be the goat. All day swimming. Like, fun goat. Every day. Your chores. When you do chores. You are, you, are you being like great right. all time? Sixth house is what's ruled by the diet. And it, you have to do a strict diet. And you have to have a strict, um, because of some bullshit. Or is that wrong? <laughs> or you feel like you're just, you're just good. <laughs> I feel like lucky. What do you think? Mm-hmm. With your I everyday. Pop an to keep going. <laughs> do it. Do it. Just, <laughs> just pop an and keep going. Keep it to me. Okay. Well. Anyway. I have no clue. But your moon is in the fifth house, which means your mother was a celebrity. She's treating you like a celebrity. She's your biggest fan. She wanted you to be in place and shit like that. She wanted to oh, show you off. Question. You know, she wanted to show you off because she's a narcissist. And she also was inconsiderate bitch because she was not a But she would be your biggest fan, like a friend almost. But like. Like, she just wanted to have fun. You know what I mean? I don't do this psychically. I'm just doing this with astrology. We'll get to the other thing about that. Because I don't even know your mom. So I don't give a fuck. I'm being mean about your astrology chart. Because you could have... Oh, yes. Because you could have loyalty issues. But I see that you're being this in the cancer anyways. And we're just going to keep that. We keep our calls. Let's go. I don't have calls. I'm a fucking fish. <laughs> I'm over there. So. <laughs> what? Fuck off. What? Fuck off. Um... I don't see them. <laughs> the cat? The line. Oh, no, the cat. She's not, not talking she's not about, about the line. He is talking about, like, actual things. Calls. Oh, okay. You got calls. Oh, your nails. Oh, your fake nails. That was a good one. Cosmetology was in there when I said that. <laughs> but I did, you watch, did you watch that show? What? Calls? No. And it's your financial security check. Oh, and it's your financial security, too. You have to rebel again. Golly, a what? major... Awesome. Whatever. Oh, your your purpose is to be third house, to be communities, to be neighbors, to be siblings, to be a public speaker is your purpose. After you do it, you dabble into that, you become into your purpose is what you wanted to do and do things with your hands and already communicating. Are doing that? Are doing that? I'm just repeating every day. So you just live with the purpose going on. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. But uh, that's my actual logical egotistical bullshit about that. My information. I guess. I guess some more, but I, I just don't know. How to explain this Saturn? Let me see what house this is in. If you have any problems, but I think you're handling just fucking fine, right? <laughs> okay, Saturn in the uh, ninth house. Oh, you got. Oh, oh, all you're doing is you just don't want to be bored. Find out ways not to be bored. That's fucking about it. Because you just have to uh, design a philosophy that's perfect for you. Big fucking deal. That's so fun to do and it's changeable. So deal with it, right? That's all you. That's all your problems. Nobody else has to go problems. You have to just learn problems about lessons, about problems, about problems. You don't even have to, no matter what you're going through, you also can be lucky with being traveling and shit like that or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, like opportunities to travel and move around and keep going. Like, air a little mermaid. But oh, whatever, fuck her. I hate her bitch. You know travel what? I hate Errol I mean, she's so inconsiderate. She left her family, her friend, and her best friend, but she didn't consider bringing it with her. And, like, that has to be right. I love Errol. Fuck you, I love Arsenal Little Mermaid, because I am allergic. Like, you know what I am? I'm a Pisces, the Pisces, which Ursula is called. Do you really? Oh, I love Ursula so much. We should so be famous stars when we make plays together. I bet you the rising sun. Just be fine, my little actor. I really don't think about that. We should do plays. We're so cool. You can be a writer. I didn't play some. There's a couple. That's right. See, your mother saw a talent in you that should be shining, and you knew that. Is he right about your mom? Treating you like a celebrity? Mm. Oh, yeah, like, I'm, like, she's my number one fan. Yeah. Now that you're built into that, we'll use that for good things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My mom is the same She's like... But she's like oh. that about all three of us. Like, we'll see. Like, your Mars is who? Also. Do I? Mm-hmm. No. Dead end. 
So yeah. he made a board that <laughs> you're not pregnant you're her baby. That's what it is. Oh yeah. Like yeah. they both know it that I'm her baby. Oh yeah. Oh my yeah. God, really? <laughs> they know. Right. Oh, See, the, oh, so that's the mother that's going to treat you like that. She was, has, even if she has to be a mother, she doesn't know she has to be. I was the baby for 12 years. Because your sister can have a more. different moon sign and be motherly different. You know what I mean? That bitch is Scorpio. She can be my ass. Oh my god, she's a Scorpio. The mother or the sister? No, my sister. My mother's an Aquarius. Mother is an Aquarius. She was born on ground. What a nurse. Eco to school my aunt, but she's a nurse. Who knows? Cool. Okay, great. <laughs> well. Yeah, you're the star, bitch. <laughs> you're awesome. We're mad about it. <laughs> totally. Also, your Mars is also on the cusp of Virgo. So, you know, you have the Builder View, which is, like, one of my favorite places, but it's very mean to me, because they always are so mean to me, and that's great. I understand that. I would want you to be on my side if we were to uh, be in a verbal battle. You know what I mean? <laughs> because, um, of criticalism, because you get the pieces out of people, that's what the flaws are, to get rid of them, and stuff, it's like, if you don't want that in your fucking face, because that's how you get, like, kind of mad, you know what I mean? <laughs> you could be a narcissist if you're drunk, and you could be, like, a contradicting mess, because you'll fucking be an asshole, or a really sweet, charming person all at the same time. I'm sweet, and I'm drunk. And then when your Mars is in Libra, because it is my in Libra, what I just understood when I said earlier about the thing, things, but, like, um, yeah, that's cool. But your okay, your shadow self is this unusual people that you keep on uh, um like attracting and stuff. <laughs> but at least it's more futuristic and stuff. And it's like whatever, it's no better than anybody because it's one of those weirdos that you're like, <laughs> I'm <only> rising. <laughs> I'm better. Marsha, 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 rising. Isn't that funny? Because Marsha, 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 <laughs> uh, the original one and the one Christine Taylor played, they're both Leos. Aren't they like, uh huh, but also an awesome, better, good, like cool Leo? You know? It's like, that's great. Because it seems, oh my god, how beautiful. What a wonderful, naive world to live in. <laughs> and, you know, shine at the same time. Just shining bright star that can be all kinds of things. And that's cool. Mm. And I'm just burning this is like, and because I'm a water sign. I'm electric eel, that's what I am called. Because I'm a Pisces on the cusp of a fire, so I get to be electric eel, who's always around to Taurus, Sea Witch, or Slug. And that's what's going on. And we should make that play. So we're going to have that today. <laughs> I got to make I'm actually just waiting on somebody to buy that just so I can ship it out. Hell fucking no. It needs to be on camera at least top of forever. No, I need to make my money back. I paid too much for the damn dress. Make the money off acting as it is. Because you're as meant to be in this Neptune heaven that I'm going to pull you in, bitch. Copy, paste. Copy, paste. Copy, paste. Copy, paste. He's a performer. Yes. And I am the director. And you're mad about it? <laughs> <laughs> Neptune rolls cameras, and I, I, we, we roll this fucking movie now, it's pretty cool. But y'all have the potential, y'all have everything, I'm so glad. It's your house Aries? Let's get it. <laughs> Be the first ones to do it, anyways. It's like, yeah. Also, do this one. <laughs> I have Aries inside my 10th house. A lot of it. But I have Pisces in my 10th house, mainly Pisces. I have a little bit of Aries in my 10th house. Anyways, am I done moving? No, I just wanted to look at it. I want to see what you're looking at. I'm looking at this wheel, and I'm talking about it. Because it's full, and you can just look at it as the map of this makeup stitch. Oh, makeup you stitch. Makeup stitch. Okay, third house, Virgo, you have perfect hands. Oh my god, yes. Touch me all the time, Virgo hands. <laughs> uh, lips, too. Virgo so, lips. You kiss like, like a Virgo. Looking at this graph that you have right here. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, just a wheel of bullshit and symbols. Cool, huh? Just like the Egyptians did it, like, this is easier to get done because you can actually look it up. But I don't know how to do that by myself without this computer to look at it. Because, <laughs> like, no, what? Am I supposed to? That's, like, hard wreck. Fuck it. <laughs> That'd be evil. I mean, because I can't do anything without those satellites. Take pictures of the astrological makeup and the sports cats of every day and every sky because they are doing that. And that's why this is happening. These websites that you can actually find out. And then we'll just look at the puppies. And we're fine. <laughs> Read that Egyptian language, bitch. Thank you, you're mad about it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about me? I don't see what I don't see. Mm. I know my integrity so many ways. <laughs> I live there. So, what am I asking? <laughs> what do you want to see? <laughs> Be psychic in the now, which you actually are basically aware of. You're just like, whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, 
the penguins around us. So if we can do that, we can do it all each other. That'd be fun. It'd be your turn to be in the spotlight. Because, hello, like, we're not, I'm, well, I don't call anything gift. I think it's a skill, but, yeah. <laughs> you know? But who knows? But if you were given a gift, I mean, hello, you're still going to be, um, hello, I'm talking. <laughs> You're still um, doing it and having it and being it. You know what I mean? So I would call that not. A, I'd call it a gift, but like that's maybe you have a gift. Maybe it was given. How, if it was a gift, it had to be given to you. So, so you're naturally the gift. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm just trying Actually, to figure out. The thing I'm that still that inside of you. My entire family does. They're all right? witches. They can all communicate because she has two deaths, so she's like still individual. Actually, she's died twice, and she's still. Yeah, she's still half and half, like, in both, though. I'm confused. Wait, she's still like your grandma? I thought she was dead, and she died again, remember when I said that? No, she died twice, Yeah. But she's still alive. Oh my god, still alive. Wow. Well, it feels like I still feel, we pictured, like, she's a dead person, some spirit. You know what I mean? That works. Is How that your grandma it? on the right? Hey, okay, no, before this bigger. picture was taken, did she yes. get to, so, okay. Before this picture was taken, did she die before this picture was or after later? Because no, I don't these know. are like from the 80s? Yeah, dude, yeah. So she did not die back then. No, she like she died three years ago and then a couple of months after that. Did she code like when she was in the hospital? Oh, no. So I was working in Little Rock at St. Vincent's Infirmary. Yeah. Oh, my and my mother got put in the hospital up there. And so I went to my room and told to sleep because I was working. Uh, I was working my breathing. Happens. So you just saved someone's life by breaking their ribs and uh, making them breathe or something? And you broke their ribs. That's not cool. <laughs> she alive. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah she's but, very thankful. Yeah. Okay. That's wonderful. That would be like, I, if I brought my grandma back, she would be like this. She's not even, she's not even one of them. <sighs> Yeah, she'd be like, what are you doing? Maybe I'll talk to her next. <laughs> then you'll be like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I think my girl is probably like 66 or 67. Wasn't that so cool? What's her she's, she's sign? She's that old now? Yeah. What's her sign? So she's also an Aquarius. I love it. My mom's birthday is so. I think I'll do your big tattoo kind of mom if I was your mom. grandmother had my mother. Did you have fit out to Like, four minutes. Before her birthday. That's pretty cool. So my mother is 16 years, or no, 15 years younger than my grandmother. She's an Aquarius. They can talk telepathically the best in spirit and whatever. And if their spirit is talking, which is like the higher self itself, that's what you would talk to when you're telepathic. Then that'd be cool. Whatever. <laughs> And you'd be the messenger of your hands. They're the best section. Kissers. Gemini's. <laughs> All the things you were saying. Like. Contact and a stroke all at the same time. Yeah. And so that killed her. And then the second time. I don't know what happened the second time. Um, my grandfather called me. And was like, hey, I can't get a hold of your grandma. Mm. Uh, maybe you can try to call her because she'll ignore everything. The room where those beans are at. In here. Wow. It says the Harry Potter taught as it's that no one deserves to live in a closet. Wow, that's so groovy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Going through the world. Oh, I'm Leo Rising. It's so cool. It's beautiful in here. It's neat. Okay, the painting. A fashionably well dressed artist lives in this room. Wow, that's pretty cool. Ursula from The Little Mermaid's costume. It's so awesome. My favorite Disney villain, is a, which is a Taurus. 
He's a gym rat. He can play this character for 